everybody. Today we got a Friday night show, I guess. Um, you know, I took a week break starting my job and everything getting going. And uh, filming this on Friday night, I'm going to post this Friday night. After completing a 42-hour week, not bad, that's two hours of overtime. Pretty good. And um, yeah, so now it's time to sit down and look at some good models. This is all Hot Wheels. This is the next four cases. Remember, I did cases A through D earlier this year. Can't remember when. That video is somewhere. And then now we're going to look at E, F, G, and H. So the next four cases after. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit behind. But, uh, of course, you know, I don't really take my time on Hot Wheels because I really don't care. Um... No, I shouldn't say that, because these ones I obviously did care enough to buy, but, you know, I most of my knowledge is in Matchbox and Tomica, so that's normally what I spend a lot more time on, but these are some really nice releases, and we're going to start with H case, and this will be, oh, no, never mind, never mind. no, we're not starting with H case, we're starting with E case, I, I'm, I'm pretty dumb. We're going to end with the new models, so it's going to get a little mixed up, but we're going to go E. I don't have any. Yeah, we're going to go E, G, H, and then the new models, which are not in order, so I'm going to have to figure that out. They're in order. The, the repeats are in order, so we're just going to go with that. Starting off here with the GMC Hummer EV in white. This is probably my favorite release so far. Um, you can't go wrong with white. I don't think so, at least. And this features the same print as all previous releases. With just front detail, which is actually I mean, decently crisp for Hot Wheels. You know, we got a little bit of bleeding on the side here, which is expected. It's just white. It's not pearl white or anything. Tail lights there you got your gmc badge which they do not put on the front matchbox puts it on the front but hot wheels doesn't hummer and silver trim you got your third brake light on top there plain simple that's how i like them this is the original casting by the way there is going to be a second variant with a closed with a tonneau cover and i think the back panel here opened up i think that's the barbie version right which I didn't know they were going to have a Hummer in the new Barbie movie, but I guess they are, and Hot Wheels is doing it. So, yeah, that's interesting. And this one looks good with the, the gray rims. I, I really like that. I really like that. Moving on, you know, there's going to be a little theme here with EV vehicles because that's the direction that the real world is going and the Hot Wheels world. It's the Audi e-tron, which, which I, I really like the Hummer EV. You know, there are EVs that I despise. There are some that I think are nice. The Hummer I like, the Audi I like. I was, re oh, that's wrong. I was recently at my local Audi dealership and photographed a e-tron. The decos look terrible on this. <laughs> Just they, they're really bad. They're really off-centered. Uh, I might need to find another one because these I did not know how bad this front end was. Typical Hot Wheels things. The detail in the decals themselves are pretty nice. The headlights look really good, but that is extremely off-centered, and that really don't like that. I really don't like that. These rims, I also really hate these rims, but they are actually quite accurate to the real one. Taillights look really good here, though. They got it centered. And there is a lot of nice detail in the taillights, and one thing I like is when they do like some of the shading in there. I really like that which is what they do on the premium castings. They don't normally do that. You know, like look on the tail light here. There's no shading there. It's all two dimensional. So I like, I like the little bit of shading done on this one. Look, makes it look a little more sophisticated. E-tron, there's your plate, green speed on the plate there. And this very nice powder blue. Quite like it. The, the, the Ford Lightnings come in that color, too. I really like that, too. Here we have... This one I really liked from last year. The blue that it came in was not my favorite because it was not Metal Flake, but this Metal Flake red is 
very nice. I really like that. This is the Lotus Emira, and this one matches the one I saw in person in New York City. That video is on YouTube. You can go find that or look on my Instagram. You don't have to scroll very far and you will see it on there. This is a little bit lighter. This is actually more orange. Uh, the one I saw in person was very deep red and it was gorgeous. But this one, it's a little lighter in color, but I do like the metal flake. Highlight decals look good. Got your Lotus badge on front. Nothing else except for the rear. Rear looks really good. Lotus. Nothing is all off centered like the Audi. And this is overall just a really nice casting. They got all the body lines on there. This is a really good looking car in general. Probably, I don't know, maybe my favorite Lotus. Uh, this is the Amira, right? Yeah, the Avaya. I don't care for the Avaya very much. It's, it's, it's eh, to say the least. But the Amira is very clean, and I, I really like that. So that was E-Case. I don't know if I have a new model from E-Case. Let me just double check that. Oh, check the new models. Yeah, I do not have a new model from E-Case. So yeah, that, that's the end of E-Case. I have one recolor from G-Case, I believe one recolor but then i've got a new model from g case actually two but one of them is from f case it's a the re-release but it's still all right we'll get to that here's the only re-release i got from g case there's probably more that i would have gotten but i probably didn't find them you know i'm not too worried about completing hot wheels anyway it's more a matchbox thing on my part but i you guys know i love the nissan silvia s15 the liberty walk one of course, the first edition is really the only one that exists in real life. Like this one, this paint livery does not exist in real life at all. But but it looks really good. And I opened the black version in part one of this series. Yeah, so the, yeah, this one had a recolor. The Audi, that's the first release of 2023 because last year it was... What, what, what color was it last year? Oh, a silver. Uh, no, it was like a gunmetal gray. And then recolored in red. The red one was really ugly. That one debuted in blue, but that's the only color we got of that. This one was yellow, then orange. This is the third release in white. And then this one, I'm trying to think. First one was yellow. No, first one was white, then yellow, then black, then red, and now gold. I don't have the red one because it's a Target exclusive. But I really don't need that one because it's kind of ugly. I but the gold, the gold and the black look really good. This this looks like a special edition, but it's not. This is a regular release. Liberty Walk, <laughs> I like the little trademark on there. Liberty Walk Racing. Liberty Walk does good work, and I like the. Yeah, I've talked about it before. I like the um, tribute that this kit is like. This body kit is based on the S twelve Sylvia, the S eleven, or the yeah yeah the. No, would, would it be the S11? The S11 Sylvia Super Silhouette car. So then they redesigned that kit, or they kind of mimicked that kit and built it for the S15, just like they did for the R34. I hope this casting goes premium. I really want a premium deco of the real-life release, or even like the um, Sideways Japan version, but we'll just have to see. This casting isn't completely accurate. It is very very short and it's very wide so it's it's a little off but not too crazy still really nice and a lot of metal on this one it's kind of heavy it's 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 actually it actually feels heavier than the hummer and the hummer's massive so yeah but there's a lot of metal on this one really good release though and i didn't really talk about the release very much but it's very plain it's very minimum and i like it moving on to h case h case was huge I think H case is just yeah the rest of these the rest of these re-releases are H case releases and they're not in my desired order so we're gonna fix that right now starting with the Lamborghini CN I know I probably try I, I I think I still like the green one a little better I don't know if I will necessarily keep this orange one but I thought it looked good in orange. 
So I'm, I will keep it for now. Maybe if I purge it later on. I don't know, the CN is actually kind of good looking to me. The front's a little weird, but it's not a bad car. Actually, this is, a, this is a metal flake orange. Okay, I like this a little more. It is a metal flake orange. You got your black trim on the front here. They really can't detail the headlight just because it's so intricate. Maybe I could do it myself. I could try. Oh, wait, did they... Is there a print on there? There is. There is a silver print on the headlight. Okay, they did do it. Doesn't You just can't really see it, so I might still just go over it myself. Lamborghini badge. You know, it doesn't look like a Lamborghini. Oh, yeah, the back looks really good on these, though. It doesn't look like a Lamborghini, but it, it still looks cool, in my opinion. I know some people hate this thing. I don't know why the rear, the side windows are so opaque. It's kind of funny. Like, you, you can't see through them. I wonder... Actually, those might not even be windows. Oh, no, they are. Well, at least, yeah, they, they're supposed to be transparent. This one isn't. This one is. Kind of. That looks transparent, too. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. It looks like it has no, in, no interior. Simple detail print on this one, though. Nothing too crazy going on. Still pretty cool. Like the metal flake, that's a little surprise. Speaking of metal flake, this one is gorgeous. Another electric vehicle. I know we took a break with the Sylvia and the Lamborghini. Back to electric vehicles. We got the Porsche Taycan, which I recently found out is just a rebadged Audi e-tron. I did not know they were the same car, but now, now I kind of see the similarities in them. But they're both really nice. They both look good. But this green on the e-tron, I absolutely love that. Look at that green. Love that. There's your headlight details. They, they can never really seem to get these right. I remember my red version was really messed up. Actually, I still have that one on card. The headlights were up higher than they should have been, I think. Or maybe they were lower than they should have been. I don't remember. Where you get your headlight print looks a little funny. And then you got the black trim on the side there. And then you got your print on the back. With just your uh, black bar on the back here. I think, isn't that supposed to be red? Uh, and then you got your markers on the bottom there. I like the green license plate. Matches. Matches pretty decently. I mean, it, it obviously isn't exact. But it's not bad. And I think they were supposed to match it, but they didn't. Nothing too crazy going on here. Just a really nice color. I mean, this one you're buying for the color admittedly that's why i bought it this one too but it's also still a really good casting deserves the spotlight next up a mazda ripu I, I like the color on this one the deco is kind of a little much for me but i do have the full collection of these ripu so that might be a yeah, I think I do. Besides the Super Treasure Hunt, which you know I do not do. But yeah, I might have to do a video showcase on the full collection of these. Mazda Rotary Power? Maybe after the recolor this one comes out. Uh, See, so we got a little bit of a tampo defect on the rim here. Not too crazy. Number two. Yeah, so they they showed prototype photos of this one. And I, I just see the number two, and I'm like, oh, this has to be a mystery model, because they always put the number on the side of the car. You got one, two, three, four, and so on, all the way to 12. So this, seeing two on this one, I'm like, ah, oh, it's a mystery model. No, actually, they they pulled a quick one. Maybe it was supposed to be, and they're just, they just threw it in the main line. I don't know. We'll have to see how good the recolor looks. If it looks like crap, then that's probably what they did. They probably just threw it in the main line and canceled it from the mystery model set. But I don't know. I really like this, like, teal, green, blue color, and the white, but I think the red and the black is a little too much. I really would have liked to see, like, a really classic, just white and blue, you know, maybe a little bit of black pinstripes or something, but not, not the end of the world. Not, it's not good, it's not bad. Maybe I can remove the decals, but then that would kind of defeat my complete collection, quote-unquote. 
Now this guy I stumbled upon at Walmart. These things are going for big money on eBay all of a sudden. Like, for for whatever the reason, you know, I don't know. It's just a Honda Civic, right? Yeah, the, the Honda Civics will go for big money. That's something that something that we got to count on. And this one, the deco is kind of messed up on this one. I did get an extra, however, so we'll just check it over. Check over my extra. Whatever one is better, I'm opening. doesn't have to be perfect, but I want the best. Yeah, so my extra one does seem to be a little bit better. I just got to check the taillights because the other one did not have like bleed in the taillight. Looks a lot better. We're opening this one. Yeah, so there, these things were abundant at my Walmart. And I got actually more than one and there's still a ton there was actually still a ton of them lying around but not anymore someone came and scooped them all i didn't want to be that person but i took five and there was still at least 10 in there so and the miatas too someone took the miatas too i don't know the miata did not look really good at all i, I didn't like the miata the civic looks good I, i'm mad i missed the red one though because the red one looked really good We'll see what we got going on here. Of course, this is a Zamax. There is no paint on here. It's just bare metal with clear coat, and then just the decals are slapped on here. This is number at number eight of the year. Civic VTEC, very clean deco, and of course tail lights on here. Your Honda Civic tail lights look really good, actually. They got they got them down well. Yeah, the Zamax always feel so smooth because they like coat these things in clear coat like they they really pack the clear coat on here so it kind of like levels it out and they don't look smooth but they are extremely smooth i really like them I really like them very slick and of course the white waist uh, the white laced rims are kind of an interesting look but they're not too bad i'm not I'm not that mad at them that's solid it's very solid but here is a favorite of mine the 2023 Nissan Z. Hot Wheels casting is kind of funny looking. It's not the best one out there. But uh, I will still probably buy any Nissan Z that I can get. Or 20, any new Nissan Z. Oh my god, this, this wasn't even like hanging on to the packaging. Any new Nissan Z, I should say. We know I don't like the 350. Or, no, I like the 350. I don't like the 370. And I don't like any of the convertibles. I'm done. I'm glad they're done with the convertibles. Uh, we got some paint crap on the hood here. Uh, that's really bad. I might have to get another one of these, too. Jesus. Headlights look really good. Really good details on the headlight. Yeah, they messed up the Nissan badge, too. That's not centered. The, yeah, the, this is why I hate the Hot Wheels casting, because they made this part plastic, so they have to paint it separately, and it does not look good. You can tell. You can tell they had to do that. The charcoal rims look good on this one, and there's your taillights. I also feel like the taillights are a little small on this one. They gotta be a little bit bigger. But overall, not bad. And of course, the whole roof is plastic on this one, which also kind of doesn't help it. But it's not bad for, for a dollar. Can't wait to get the Auto World ones, which were just shown on card today from round two, and they look amazing. And I've got the, I want to get the Mini GT one. I'm not big on Mini GT, at least not anymore. I want, I still want the Sylvia, the Liberty Walk Sylvia. And then I'll probably get the Z, but yeah, Mini GT is really falling off for me because they do a lot of stuff that I'm just not interested in. And, and by that, I mean like race cars, like Liberty Walk is fine because it's a tribute, but, and I did buy the, the Skyline racing car, but yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, all my F case cars were were um re-releases or not re-releases, new models. And this one, this Porsche I got from G case, I know it debuted in the F case, right? I I I'm pretty sure it debuted in the F case with the Audi, right? But first, we got to take a look at. 
This is a new model, but it's a recolor. Uh, so we go with these ones first. The Nissan Patrol Custom. Yeah, we know how I feel about this one. Yeah, it exists. It exists. Did I buy it because it's a Nissan Patrol? Yes, because this is the, probably the first time the Nissan Patrol name has ever entered Walmart. But at the same time, they this, this is terrible. This is really bad. Uh, I'm definitely customizing one of these. Maybe this one. I don't know. I, I have extras to customize. Like, it just looks bad about the front bumper. I don't know who approved that. Uh, and, and whatever the hell is going on here. The, the Nissan Skyline engine's a nice touch. And then you got your two turbos with the exhaust poking out there. No spare tire. And of course, you know, your giant holes in the roof or in the, in the hood that you have to fill in if you want to make a stock one, which is a pain in the bottom. Yeah. Color's nice, though. <laughs> Color's nice. Nissan Patrol Hill Climb Race Team. That is pretty accurate. They, they do that in the Middle East. They will drive up sand dunes in, this, in these things. And they do modify them like this. Like, this isn't unrealistic. But I, I prefer the stock version of the vehicle. And then also this thing squats, which is funny. The rear sits lower than the front. It's a squatter. It's from Carolina. Yeah, it also it like blocks the camera. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I, I don't know if I'm going to collect all the releases. I mean, I bought that one, but yeah. This one's pretty cool, though. The Honda Civic Custom. This one came from Diecast Car Guru. Really like this one. And <laughs> probably because Matchbox already did a stock one that I like this one. But it's kind of got that Kaido Racer feel to it. Uh, one thing, they have to ditch that blue window. The blue window looks bad. I'll admit that. But yeah, it's got, a, it's got this simple little Kaido Racer aesthetic to it. And I really like that. The hood's really cool, too, with the flat black hood and then the, the gloss black stripe. The front end's very Kettle Racer-esque with the, the large fog lights. This, of course, is a CVCC Civic, but it's just got a little, little wide body on here. I just wish they did something a little more Kettle Racer with that exhaust. Uh, kind of kind of make it sticking out a little farther. You got your Rayu badge. Rest in peace, buddy. Civic, Honda. How 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 did it get chipped right there? <laughs> uh, if I detail this thing, that will be silver trim too. Yeah, a chip right there too. It must have fell off before. It must have fell off the workbench before they put the plastic piece in here because this wing would have protected it from chipping. Yeah, but if I detail this thing, that will be chrome trim anyway. Not a big deal. Not a big deal if I don't do it anyway either. Got the new rims on here. These are the small three spokes looking pretty good i like that they tooled up a smaller version for them because of course the japanese cars tend to use very small rims and well unless you're this guy um so it makes them very usable move on still at fk oh yeah yeah this is all fk still we got the Audi 90 Quattro. I think that's supposed to be the year. I don't know why they stuck it in the middle there, but this is a race car, of course. Based on a real livery, I do not know how much of this is licensed. Well, this looks really good, and also from this angle, it just looks very bloated. <laughs> but it, it's supposed to be wide like that. It is a wide body. And they did pretty good with this deco for a mainline model for a one dot. For a $1 model, I don't know what's going on with these things on the side A pillar here. I don't know if that's molding from the... That, that, that doesn't look right. All right, where's the packaging? Oh, they must be air intakes. Or some sort of... Pat. I don't know what the hell that is. But it's here on the model. Does it look good? No, not really. But they're, they're there. They're supposed to be there. Got the one wiper in the front. Uh, they actually lined up these decals pretty well. I'm pretty impressed because normally there would be a discrepancy here. But I am figure those are the headlights. 
Hey, Audi badge on the grill here. You got Goodyear sponsors, Quattro Audi, number four. Of course it's number four because Quattro means four. Um, and Quattro is on there for four-wheel drive. You got your typical Audi colors, your red, white, gray, black. Some other sponsors on the side there. Don't know really know what they are. JAV, I think, is a Hot Wheels designer. That's his mark on there. Or maybe the guy who did the deco. Is that Dima? No, I don't know why it would be JAV. Audi Sport. Quattro. Very cool. The disc wheels work really well on this one. And, you know, just detail the back of it a little bit, and it's good to go. I really like this one. There's your exhaust poking through the door. Oh, actually, just a single exhaust. Flat bottom on this one. Yeah, these things are really cool. Hope this thing goes premium because we definitely need the premium print on this one. Uh, and if it does go premium, I will probably replace this version with that one because this one, it's okay, but it doesn't, it's not, the deco does not look that good. There, there are literal, <laughs> literal holes in the deco. So I, I really hope for a premium one. But that's, this one's a good filler for now. I hope this goes premium too. The Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. This is an amazing casting. This is gorgeous. I already love it before I opened it up. This might be a top five for me this year. It's done so right. Headlights are done. You got your turn signals here, which are actually part of the window. So they will always be a color break there, even though they're not orange. There's a Porsche badge. I don't know how these get chipped in such weird spots. These wheels work perfectly on this one, and they work even better on the next car. Carrera just on the side, and that is all you need. Porsche 75. There's your 75 badge because Porsche is 75 years old in 2023. Carrera RS. Taillights are lensed inserts as well. That's very surprising. Uh, of course, the white bumper looks very plain, but I could detail that if I wanted to. But honestly, I might just leave it alone. I might just leave this alone. I want to wheel swap it. What would be really perfect would be some Matchbox disc rims. Here. To... Oh, I didn't know I had a CVCC here the whole time. I could have compared the Matchbox one to the Hot Wheels one. Which is really no comparison. The Matchbox one, of course, is better. But they're the same size. They're the same size. But you can see the uh, proportions on the Hot Wheels one are not the same. Because the window rake is more angled than the... the well, the Matchbox one has a sharper angle than the Hot Wheels one. It's more, more um, sloped. If you get what I'm saying. If you catch my drift. But they're the same length. The wheels line up. So that's pretty nice. There's a little bit of consistency between Hot Wheels and Matchbox, and they're both owned by Mattel, so I hope there would be. But I'm talking about these rims. Put these rims on the Porsche and paint the little center there blue to match the striping. Wouldn't that be perfect? I want to do that so bad. But I need I need wheel donors. This this one's not mine. This one is going away. I sold this one off. Yeah, I I still have one in my personal collection. Don't worry. I just had two of them. I didn't know I had two of them, and, you know, someone needed it, so I'm like, hey, I'll sell you mine. Perfect. Perfect on the Porsche. But if the Porsche... The Porsche is perfect. This is beyond perfect. The Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG. Okay, I'm, I'm going to sound like Lamley for a little bit here so guys just bear with me while i rave about something that lamley has already raved about but this is fantastic yeah my 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 impression of lamley is never gonna get old is it it shouldn't oh my god the sunroof is actually metal that's not even part of the window okay then okay hot wheels this is heavy this is pretty heavy for a coupe i love this I love this. It's something about these older Mercedes, the aesthetic that they give. I don't like Mercedes now. If you were to try to give me a new Mercedes, I would be like, no. But this one? Yeah, I would take this one. 
This looks so good. All the blacked out trim. You know, the only thing that's chromed is the Mercedes badge and, and the rims. That's all you need. AMG on the back. There's your tail lights. Oh my god. Gorgeous. What what this throws me off though. There's no there's no pillar there. Is there not supposed to be a pillar there? Is this a um what do they call it? What do they call it when it's all open there where there's no pillar? A hard top? Is that what the is this actually a hard top? You know, not like hard top convertible, but like this is what that's that's how they would call them. They would oh jeez. I just smudged that. They would call it a hard top when there is no B pillar. In the middle, this would be the B pillar. So this might be a hard top. I don't know for sure though. I don't know, that could be Hot Wheels messing this up. Actually, I could look at the packaging and learn absolutely nothing because it is all open. So yeah, this is a hard top. Yeah, not something that would fly in today's car regulations. Like, they cannot do this anymore. But this was a, definitely an 80s thing. There's a lot of cars like that from the 80s. And yeah, the, the metal sunroof really surprises me though. And of course, I don't remember Lamley's video because he got this one so long ago. But maybe he pointed that out. Maybe he didn't. This thing is gorgeous though. Definitely my favorite car here. And and the Z. The Sylvia. There's your top three. Oh my god. That, that just looks so good. Wait a minute. No, move them. That looks really good. Just like that. There you have it, guys. That is it for this one. And um, I'll see you next time, hopefully with a Pajero, on the, the next part of this journey through the Hot Wheels 2023 mainline. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.